Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our 2021 Community Schools Award. It's great to see you all and excited to celebrate all of these amazing, amazing work um, that you all have been doing with our coordinators. Uh, one of our favorite things and one of our most important values in community schools is relationships. And tonight we get to celebrate all of the relationships that have made it possible for us to do our work today. Um, we certainly want to kick off. We know you had, we hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um, anyone who's on the call who served in, the, in our country or had a family member that served our country, we definitely want to say thank you for your service and thank you all for your commitment to this country. Um, we certainly look forward to kicking off the celebration here, but hope it doesn't just stay here, that it keeps on going um, as we go along. So just to kick us off, my name is Maxwell Ikwamua Boateng. I am the Director of Operations for Community Schools. And again, welcome, 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 all of our young people. I see you on the call. Sakai, you look so excited. So let's get going. Um, but before we get started, uh, we're going to give you a little bit, uh, a few reminders um, to help you navigate some of the tools that are on your screen today. So as we go along, just wanted to give you a heads up because it's so exciting. We're certainly going to be recording this, this video so we can share it out with others who may not be able to join us tonight. Um, and so just wanted to give you a heads up for that. Um, this is a public event. Participants' names as well as your audio and video is, is unmuted on, on video. Participants are being recorded and streamed to Facebook. Uh, so you may have seen some names uh, on there or some cues in the, in the chat for you as well. Um, please silence your microphones, notification alerts, phones and computers. Um, so you can see that mute and unmute button on the right there. Uh, say hi, add your name, and submit an emoji or a chat message for everyone to say hello. So you see that little chat window there. That is for that. And if you have a question at any time, raise your virtual hand or submit questions and comments in the chat box. So you can see that at the at the at the bottom there. Um, if you're experiencing any issues, uh, if your Zoom is freezing or trying to turn off your video uh, or try to turn off your video, video excuse me, um, and then you should be able to hear us really well. Again, this is so exciting. Um, so before we even kick off, I just want to see if everyone's able to check your reactions and see if it's working. So click on your reactions, show us some love. Uh, let us see if your reactions are working for tonight. Wonderful. So I see some thumbs up there, some celebrations. Your reactions are at the bottom of your screen. Um, you should be able to see it on the right hand side with a smiley face. Yes, I see a couple there. Thank you. Thank you all. So with that said, we're going to get our day started uh, celebrating. I am going to introduce to you all and again, happy to turn it over to someone who has helped guide us so much for this incredible work that we've done. Um, this year, please give a warm welcome to Deputy Mayor Cynthia Bigelow. Hello, everybody. Um, first of all, it is so amazing to see all your faces. I still miss us all being together, but I am beyond um, excited to be here with you guys because you have been the thread that has been so critically important to our children and families. And I know we have partners and all kinds of folks with us. But if you, I know nobody really wants to think back to March of 2020, way before Memorial Day. I'm sure you don't even want to remember Memorial Day last year, but like we were in the height of immediately thinking about what are we gonna do for our young people? What are we gonna do for these amazing school communities that we are so deeply passionate about? And you guys immediately and just tremendously responded and dug in so deep and we are so lucky really on behalf of the city and you're gonna hear from the mayor shortly, um, you guys have just been the rock stars. I mean, the, what we have been able to accomplish for our children and families in partnership with the district, in partnership with our schools, our partners, I mean, whether it's been food distribution, continuing the after school activities programs, student councils, I mean, really unique and, um, unusual ways of really trying to just be creative, right? So making sure that our young people still had access to these really important life events. I just wanna thank you all. I also wanna thank Dr. Height and his team who've been a partner to us and have been just extraordinary through this because 
it's not been easy. You know, definitely the one thing about the pandemic is just when we figure something out, something else changes. Um, and the work that you guys have done has really stood out. Um, and I also want to give um, acknowledgement to our council members who've been supportive of this work. We did receive word that a few of us might be joining us tonight. So I just want to acknowledge that our city council folks are here to support us. Um, you guys have done testing support, job fairs, food distribution, and coordinated with countless numbers of families. We, we did coat drives. I mean, you, you name it, it happened. And as part of this work, it was not always um, something that was out in the public the way that we wanted to be. So we're here tonight really to celebrate you all and to recognize the tremendous work. And this is really, you know, part of a commitment of this administration, our extraordinary mayor who put children and families first, education at the forefront, our commitment to education, and is what has been one of our more challenging years. So you guys are part of that fabric. We're so happy to have you. It's really an honor for me to serve with all of you. You guys are the heroes. Um, we, we sometimes push the heavy, the heavy lifting in other areas, but we couldn't do it without you. So it's really my honor and, and an easy warm up to introduce um, the man who really had a vision for how we make things different for kids in Philadelphia, and that's Mayor Jim Kenney. Mayor? Thanks, thanks, Cynthia, and good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Philadelphia Community School Awards. This is a celebration of the students, school teams, and community partners who make great things happen at Philadelphia Community Schools. Tonight, we honor many people whose dedication to their school community inspires and uplifts us all. I'm so proud of the collective work taking place in Philly's community schools and glad we can recognize that work together tonight. I wanna to thank our community school coordinators and for all their hard work this school year. You stepped up to the many challenges this year presented and you cl cleared barriers so that others could soar. To the principal, staff and leadership of the School District of Philadelphia, thank you for welcoming these initiatives into your schools. We are grateful for your years of partnership and that all you do for our children. By boldly re-envisioning how a school can serve all members of the community, you have revolutionized the way communities access resources and open new pathways for student achievement. And last, but most certainly not least, to the winners of tonight's Community School Awards, thank you. You have been outstanding champions for change in your communities, and we are so, so proud of you. Because of your passion and commitment, wonderful things are happening throughout Philadelphia. Anyone can be a champion for change, and, I, and it can start at a young age, as demonstrated by Sakai Weathersby, a fifth grader at Distant Elementary, who serves his class as their student representative and was the winner of his school's Good Trouble Award. Or Rosa Figueroa, a parent from McClure Elementary, who goes above and beyond, not just for her child, but for all the school's children through her leadership and advocacy. Or our wonderful partners at Promise Neighborhood, who collaborate with the school team at Allen Locke to help the entire community flourish and prosper. To all recipients on behalf of the entire city of Philadelphia, I offer you congratulations and all of our gratitude. Thank you and have a wonderful night. Thank you, Mayor Kenny, appreciate that. We certainly know community schools exist to push Philadelphia's agenda um, towards a more equitable society and it wouldn't be possible if we didn't have your leadership. So thank you so much for making that happen. And thank you, Cynthia, for those kind words. And to echo uh, what Cynthia has mentioned, our work wouldn't be possible without the partnership of the great um, School District of Philadelphia, uh, and especially the, the leadership that they have as well. So joining us tonight, um, I'm happy to introduce Superintendent Dr. Height, who will also be sharing a few words. Thanks, well, thank you. And thanks to Mayor Kinney, Thanks to Deputy Mayor Figueroa and good afternoon to everyone who's here and to all of the individuals receiving awards tonight. I also want to congratulate all of you. On behalf of the School District of Philadelphia, I'm honored to extend a heartfelt congratulations to all of our 2021 Community Schools Award recipients. Over the past 14 months, I've spoken about the tremendous ways in which the city of Philadelphia and the school district have come together to support our students and their school communities during a pandemic. However, these two entities have had a long history of working together to ensure that children, the children of Philadelphia, had access to resources to succeed in school and be prepared for a life that would see them become successful adults and contributing members of society. Without question, 
one of the most impactful outcomes of our partnership has been the development of community schools. We saw a need for this initiative, this innovative collaboration, and have seen wonderful results in terms of our academic performance of students, increased access to health and wellness services, and stronger engagement of community members and organizations and communities surrounding our schools. Today, we celebrate five dynamic students who are sharing their talents to help other students, as well as a number of staff and community members who tirelessly work to ensure that their schools and school communities thrive. Each of today's award recipients are doing their part to create exactly what was envisioned when community schools were established. The building of strong foundations on which healthy, safe, supportive, and hopeful communities could stand. Whether it was the development of a program to help provide feminine hygiene products, counseling and mentoring to young ladies, or the gathering of positive male role models to volunteer their time as lead mentors to young male students, Ordinary citizens have made extraordinary impact in the lives of our students. So perhaps it was a high school student who understood the power of her voice and decided to advocate for greater mental health supports for students doing a meeting with an elected official. Or maybe it was the elementary school students who volunteered to participate in their student government clubs, gaining valuable leadership skills while seeking to serve their respective student bodies. Today's awardees are shining examples of all that is good in the district and proof positive that community schools work. So again, I want to congratulate all of today's awardees. Thank you for what you do to help our students and families and all of the ways you make our communities better. Now I'm pleased to introduce a wonderful partner of the school district. Um, and I think you've heard from her already, but Deputy Mayor of the Office of Children and Families, Cynthia Figueroa. Uh, thanks again, Dr. Haidt. Um, it's been an extraordinary year and thankfully for the tremendous partnership. I think we, we survived it. We're still getting through, um, but we are grateful for all the, the ways in which we were able to partner together. And it means a lot that you were able to be here today with for our principals, our students, our community, um, and everybody else who's been able to join us tonight. I, uh, thank you again. Um, we, uh, we had intended to introduce some other speakers, but uh, as of right now, they haven't been able to join. So I'm gonna kick it back over to Max to keep us going. Thank you, Cynthia, I appreciate you. And thank you, Dr. Hyde, for those words. Uh, to echo one thing that really, uh, we, we try to hone in as community schools, and this is the collaborative leadership piece. So as just as Cynthia uh, mentioned, we appreciate city council and all the leaders who work with us along the way to build these leadership structures in place to guide the work that we do in our communities. And to get going, let's uh, let the fun begin. So uh, we have one of our community school coordinators who is going to be kicking us off um, and kind of telling us a little bit about the community school student recipients uh, and that award. So I will kick it to the video. Hi, I'm Gregory Wright, the Community School Coordinator at Edward Gideon Elementary. The Community School Awards showcase the best of our young leaders across the nation, whether it's through acts of service, leading by example, or being a team player to support the school. The students selected this year have inspired us and supported our work in a crucial way during this tough year. Students have stepped up in ways that we could not have imagined. Some students have assisted their classmates with Zoom assistance or Google Classroom assistance in the case of Gideon, um, leading opportunities for them to discuss homework, um, step up with questions, and just be a greater help than, again, any teacher could have imagined, and even myself. So we want to congratulate these students for the 2021 year um, as they receive their community school student awards. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. We're going to kick off and, and shout out as we go through. Again, please use your reactions. So our first award goes to Zahir McGriff, eighth grader from Edward Gideon School. Zahir has been responsible before any absences. Um, he will email and inquire about any classwork or homework. He's determined to make a difference in his community and beyond. Thank you for your service, Zahir.
Next up is Giselle Orsini, 11th grader from KHSA. Giselle um, was a founding member of the Student Council at, uh, at STAR. She has worked seamlessly with our school administration to build a school-wide curriculum on mental health awareness. Thank you, Giselle, for your service. Next up is Sydney Gregory from Mural, the Mural Dallas High School. Sydney um, and her character has been proven to be a person who sets high standards and goals for not only herself, but for others. Thank you, Sydney. Next up is Adriana Shaw Bowden from Samuel Gompers School. Adriana has done more than her part to bravely guide Gompers through a challenging year of virtual school and has done so with exemplary leadership and dedication. Thank you, Adriana, for your service. Next up is Sakai Weber, fifth grader from Hamilton Distance School. Sakai embodies the theme for distance 2020-21 school year of good trouble. We earned good trouble award in March uh, for fifth for the fifth grade. Thank you, Sakai, for your service. And thank you to all of our students. Um, again, we will not be able to do this without your support. You are future leaders, and we certainly look forward to seeing you grow to serve our community. I want to see all of the Zoom reactions. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So next up is our Community Schools Commi Community Awards. So this is the Community Members Recipients Award. We know there's a lot that goes into the work that our coordinators do, and it would not be possible, it would not reach many without the voices of the community. So thank you for the platform and for being the voice uh, of your community members. Here we go, we'll kick it off with the video from one of our school coordinators. Hi. My name is Shira Spiley, and I'm the Community Schools Coordinator at John H. Webster School. We as coordinators don't do this job alone. It takes students, partners, school teams, and community members to come together to make the best possible outcomes a reality at our schools. The adults nominated this year represent and exemplify the community support needed for schools to thrive. Thank you all for helping community schools achieve so much this school year. Thank you so much, Shira, uh, for your words. We are going to start with our community awards. And as usual, definitely welcome your reactions. Um, so please, 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 let's give them a huge shout out. So we will start with our first recipient for the community member awards, and that is Laura Elliott a SPED Compliance Monitor and Testing Coordinator for 6 through 8 Autistic Support at Allen Lot Elementary. Laura has organized and distributed supplies for the community school closet and packed school supplies for returning students. She listed here a few of the examples of her willingness to ensure students and families at Lock have the resources they need to flourish. Thank you, Laura, for your service. Next up, we have Mrs. Gwen, Step Behavior Specialist at Edward Gideon School. This year, Mrs. Gwen's role took on even greater importance and has helped create group spaces for students and staff for open dialogue concerning their feelings and is readily available to meet with students when needed. Thank you, Mrs. Gwen, for your service. Next up is Ms. Ellen Freeman, Climate Specialist Team Member at SS Edmonds. During the pandemic, Ms. Freeman was diligently visited classrooms that she is assigned to, monitoring attendance, interacting with students, as well as encouraging them to keep up when they needed extra push. Thank you, Mrs. Freeman, for your service. Next up is Armstead King Jr. Now at GW, he found his niche. He loves helping families overcome various barriers and ultimately getting students back on track. 
educationally preparing them for life. Mr. King, thank you for your service. Next up, a familiar face of the Community Schools family, Mr. Richard Washington, Climate Manager at James Logan Elementary. On a personal note, Richard is the person who encourages Colette Butler to apply for the musical coordinator position here at Logan. You will always see him walking around, um, not just doing the climate stuff, but the key role in shaping the key culture, the climate and the culture of James Logan. Thank you, Mr. Wright, Mr. Washington, for your service. Next up is Jackie King, one-to-one -one and Sunshine Committee member at Overbrook Educational Center. Mrs. King has been the go-to for cradles and crayons pickups and home deliveries for our families across the city. We all know that is one thing that helps our students get the clothes and the resources that they need. Ms. Ms. King, thank you so much for your service. Next up is Principal Ford Smith and her climate staff at Tilden Middle School. Mrs. Ms. Ford Smith's extensive leadership experience makes her knowledgeable in all aspects of the school leadership design and development. Her work with the climate team this year has been vital to supporting students and families at Tilden. Principal Ford Smith and climate team, thank you so much for your service. Next up is Beth Troncalli, teacher at Richard R. Wright Elementary School. Ms. Troncalli also serves on the Community Schools Leadership Team, where she develops on some awesome ideas to benefit our entire school community. Her love of the students and Wright community stand true with every activity she holds or supports. Mrs. Ms. Troncalli, thank you so much for your service. Next up is Jared Hattie, eighth grade teacher and sponsor at Samuel Gobbler School. Mr. Haddock has also stepped up to the eighth grade sponsor. His, his passion for Gobblers in the school community is evident in, in out of school, out of school and in his classroom. We're excited to recognize him today. Thank you so much for your service. Next up is Nurse Shira, Carabot. Primary Care Center at South, at South Philadelphia High School. Nurse Shira signed up to attend and support each Friday giveaway and was key to making popular events a success. Nurse Shira, thank you so much for your service. Next up is Miss Nadine Woodbury, a family peer specialist at Southwark Elementary School. Nadine's care and compassion for our school community is seen in the initiative she takes to meet the needs of our community members on a daily basis. Ms. Woodbury, thank you for your service. Next up is the, the support services assistance team at William Cramp School. Carmen Leon, Kisla Mendoza, Carmen Gonzalez, Carmen Aviles, Mildred Gonzalez, Mayra Resto. They help to give away hundreds of backpacks, 100 turkeys, as well as over 300 coats. Thank you so much for your service. Next up, Officer Jamil Sloan, School Safety Officer at Hamilton Distant School. Officer Sloan's service to distant students goes beyond the lead mentoring group. After the murder of George Floyd, Officer Sloan joined our school principal, Mr. Thomas, school staff, and the directors of the Office of Black Male Engagement to lead an open conversation with middle school young men and an important male adult in their lives to discuss police brutality. Officer Sloan, thank you for your service. Next up, Rosa Figueroa, school parent at Alexander McClure School. The commitment you have for the McClure uh, community and our students are, is very important to us. You have made a significant impact and contribution to our McClure families and community. Ms. Figueroa, thank you so much for your service. And again, 
please give a warm shout out um, and, and a round of reactions to all of our community members uh, who have supported us throughout the year. We really do appreciate your work and elevating platforms uh, to be able to get resources and support much needed in our school communities. We thank you for your leadership. See the chat is blowing up there. Thank you, thank you so much. We do really appreciate you. Next up, we are going to jump into our community schools awards for our partner organization recipient. These are organizations that have certainly gone above and beyond to make sure that what we need to do, we have the support, we have the resources, and in most places, we also have the personnel. Um, we are going to have them kick us off, or have this part kick us off by one of our previous reporting members. Greetings. My name is Rennie Parker, Community School Coordinator for Samuel Gompers Elementary School. The mission of the Community Schools module is to create a safety net of supports and services to help students and families succeed. To accomplish this, we often work with local organizations that provide additional supports and opportunities for children and families. This year, the Community School Awards opens up a new category dedicated to showcasing our partners. Congratulations, and thank you to this year's inaugural group of winners. Greetings. Thank you so much, Rennie, for that. We are going to kick our partner organization winners off, and we will start with Promise Neighborhood from Allen Lock School. Now, the Promise Neighborhood team were able to provide Locke Elementary with essential resources to help our students and families during this crucial time. So the Promise Neighborhood team, we thank you for your service. Next up is Lynette Medley, No More Secret Body, Mind, Body, Spirit at FS Edmonds. The CEO and founder of No More Secret, Lynette, has been a community partner at Edmonds for three years. During that time, they have recently opened the first spot club and always answers the call and shows up for events like our annual community days, health fairs, and back to school nights. For the No More Secret Body Spirit team and Lynette, thank you so much for your service. Next up is Amber Reed from Cora. George Washington High School. Amber has been working with kids since 2009, which has been a roller coaster of good memories, great lessons, and humility. In her five years at working with DW students, she has watched a number of students come through the Boost original name and Youth Corps after school program. Amber and the former team, thank you for your service. Next up is Pastor Alonza Johnson and Believer's Bible Fellowship Church at James Logan Elementary School. Prior to the pandemic, BBF understood the importance of Black male engagement in the lives of our Black and Brown children and hosted a Dads and Me event that encouraged parents to enjoy an evening of food, fun, and games with their children. To Pastor Alonzo Johnson and the BBF Church, appreciate you for your service. Next up, Tuesday's Chalmers, McPherson Library at John Fletcher Elementary. McPherson Library is the rock of these neighborhoods. Any program or resources that community members need, McPherson Library always finds a way to provide the resource. To the, to the McPherson Library team, thank you for your service. Next up, Jason Query at Congresso what John H. Webster Elementary. In his own words, he prefers to be out in the community with the people. Jason embodies what it means to be for the community. We have been lucky to have Jason assigned to Webster and worked so hard for our family. Thank you so much for your service. Jason. 
Next up is Alyssa Pelter caring for friend AHSA. Alyssa has played a, a huge role in supporting the resource distributions at, at the school, making it possible to provide food and supplies to hundreds of families this year. Alyssa and the Care for Friends team, thank you for your support. Next up, Pastor Clayton Hicks, resurgent church representing the Mural Dobbins High School. Resurgence has continued to be a supportive community throughout these unprecedented times, serving as a pickup location for commencement cap and gowns, graduation law posters, satellite location for senior photos, OST location, and more. To the Resurgence family, we can't ask for more. Thank you so much for your service. Next up, Sabina Velila. Albert Einstein Medical Center, represented Alexander McClure School. Your commitment to serving as a knowledgeable and enthusiastic health educator and promoter, as well as your experience in developing and establishing programs of health and wellness goals to our, to our community has significantly benefited our family. Thank you so much for your service. Next up, Victoria Trower base office with Richard Wright Elementary. She is always available to field phone calls, drop off laptops, provide resources for our families, and create vibrant marketing materials for Wright activities. Ms. Trotter, thank you so much for your service. Next up, Andrea Baylor, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, representing South Philadelphia High School. Thanks to the dedication of Andrea and the CHOP team, we were able to start monthly attendance parties in December and raffle off gift cards to students who met their attendance goals. So the CHOP team and Andrea, thank you so much for your service. Next up, Delaware Fairness Valley Fairness Project at Overbrook Education Educational Center. Julia Quintavel, the Associate Director of DVFP, is an active participant in OEC's monthly partner meetings and is always connecting with other partners to bring a fresh perspective. Julia and the team, thank you so much for your service. Next up, Christ Church South Philadelphia, Southworth Elementary School. This incredible team of volunteers delivered a total of 1,899 food packages to Southport families, homes on a weekly basis from April 2020 to April 2021. So that does Christchurch South Philadelphia family, thank you so much for your service. Next up, Yolka, OST program at Tilden Middle School. A program partner of the Urban uh, Affairs Coalition with a 30 plus year history of providing grassroots community outreach and a comprehensive holistic system of programs that support and nurture youth and their families. To the Yola Cap family, thank you so much for your service. Next up, Centro Nueva Creación at William Cramp School. Even through the highs and the lows, they've continued to provide homework help, arts programming, and much more with a staff of only two people. Both Ms. Maribel Lozada and Norma Cruz were amazing people. We are so thankful for your service to the craft And again, a huge shout out to all of our partner organizations. We really do appreciate your help and your support. We could not do this without you. Um, this is certainly one of those times we want to take a moment to back down and show you our appreciation, uh, again, for serving our children and ensuring that we could continue to create greater outcomes for them. So let's take a second to flush, flood the chat with thanks and congratulations and to show our reactions on our screens.
And the party is not over. I don't want to let you all go yet. So hang on in there for a second. Again, a huge shout out to all of our recipients and our winners. Um, we are going to transition for a second um, to give a few more uh, thank yous. Um, I would like to introduce my one of one of our leaders on our side who has also, has also been instrumental in moving the work uh and i and i would definitely love for you all to hear from her as well uh to share a few remarks so without further ado i'm going to kick it to Valesca maldonado uh to say a few words thank you max can everybody hear me okay yeah okay. all right so Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am so glad um, that you could all make it. It's um, through this presentation, it's been great to see the many accomplishments of our students, our teachers, our family, and community members, um, but also our partners. As um, we went through the slides, it's just so awesome to see the faces and to see how this year, Everyone has gone above and beyond in really supporting um, all the work in our community school. As we move into this portion of this meeting, I want to first thank, I want to first and foremost thank our community schools coordinator and all of our principals for their heroic work during the last 15 months. I have to say that your commitment to our students and our families from the most basic needs um, to ensuring students' attendance, to being a listening ear and a total to prior times um, did not go notice. I would also like to shout out um, some of our strategic partners um, who make this work possible. Um, not all of them are here. They were not able to make it. However, um, I want to be able to acknowledge because um, because of them, we were able to make a great impact um, in all of our community schools. So first, I'd like to thank um, my partner in crime, Karen Lynch, for her commitment um, to ensuring that all students and families in the community school um, get the access to the services they needed, when they needed them, and where they needed them. I am thankful to lead this work right alongside with you, Karen. I would also like to thank um, Rachel Postman, who supported me throughout um, the year and supported our students um, in our division with many of the interlacing partners that we have to serve our community school. Um, Rachel is such a strong partner for us, and we appreciate being able to work right alongside with her and her teams. In addition to that, I also want to acknowledge Jenna, um, Jenna Monley and the Family Community Engagement Office at the school district, um, who also supported a lot of our work. And we are so grateful to have um, them by our side day to day as we work with um, all of our families. Another person that I want to acknowledge and I want to thank um, is Joe Taylor, um, who is a fearless advocate for keeping our work aligned to the district's internal strategic planning process. Thank you, Joe, Joe for always being um, willing to step, up, you know, to step up the plate in making sure that every every piece of our work is aligned with the district. Lastly, I like to thank our assistant superintendents and our OCF funded core partners, um, our out of school time for ready, attendance case management providers um, who deliver critical services to our thousands of students and families. These services were more important than ever um, this year. And we appreciate um, from the bottom of our hearts um, everything that we have been able to do throughout. Um, as we head to this final 20 minutes, so, Mm, let me see. As we head into this final um, few minutes, I want to make sure that we are able to hear from um, everyone. But before that, I want to be able to introduce Council Member Bothier, who's actually with us tonight. I'm so glad that you were able to join us, and I want to be able to pass on the mic so that um, you're able to you know, say a few words. Thank you for joining us, Council Member Bothier. Thank you so much for having me. I'm sorry that I was a little late getting oh. on. <laughs> Um, good e evening, everyone. Um, I'm Council Member Jamie Gaudier, and I represent the third district, which includes large parts of West and Southwest Philly. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say a big congratulations 
captains, to all of you here um, celebrating this evening. And furthermore, I want to thank you for all of your hard work and dedication um, to our city students um, day in and day out, especially over, over the last year. Um, thanks to your efforts and the community school model as a whole, um, our kids are much more likely to not just graduate high school, but to graduate college and career ready and to launch um, from communities that are safe and healthy and supportive. Um, and I want to give a special shout out to the Allen Lott School, um, our community school here in the third district. Um, in particular, I wanted to tell you a little bit, um, it, you probably heard, but I want to reiterate um, some things about our district's award recipients. Um, Laura Elliott is a special education teacher at Locke who is known for her understanding of her students' needs and her willingness to jump in and help at a moment's notice. Um, she is deeply committed to removing barriers to learning for students with special needs and um, to ensuring families have the resources they need so that kids can thrive in the classroom. Um, Laura exemplifies what community schools are all about and so so I just want to say again, congratulations and thank you. Um, I also wanted to give a shout out to the Promise Neighborhood, Lots Community Partner, um, which is also being honored here tonight. Um, throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, the Promise Neighborhood team again and again showed just how dedicated they were to the Lots School community. Um, during a year of such incredible uncertainty, and stress, their partnership has been instrumental to our district's families. So thank you so much for everything you do for West Philly. Um, they say that it takes a village um, to raise a child and honestly, that couldn't be more true. And so I'm very grateful that our village includes um, teachers like Laura and the whole uh, Allen Lock team um, and organizations like the Promise Neighborhood that make our families feel supported and help them thrive day in and day out. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, David. We really appreciate you joining us. Um, it's just been an amazing uh, experience just being able to touch base with all of our leaders, uh, to hear from them, but most importantly, to hear from also our winners. Uh, and so what, what we're going to do next is we're going to kick, uh, we're going to switch up a little bit. But let's go, before I go any further, is there anything else that you'd like to add? I am beyond words. It is so great um, as I scroll and see all of your faces. I am, you know, I am more than proud of everything that we have done this year. And I look forward um, to continuing through the summer and the fall um, in making the lives of our students and our families um, the best that we can. So thank you for all of your support. So let's keep the party going. Let's get let's get the, some more stories flowing. Uh, and it's amazing. It's almost the end of the year, so I know you all have a massive uh, bunch of celebratory stories. And it's so so much to hear from just us, but we want to hear from you all. So at this time, we're going to transition into an open floor where attendees can share some of the stories from the year. Um, we definitely want to hear of the high moments. I know some of the young people, folks, you have shout outs for the teachers or coordinators that you've been working with. We still want to hear your story. Uh, and so I'm going to need some assistance with my team to kind of help me see who has their hand raised um, so we can call out some names for folks to share stories. Again, if you don't feel comfortable sharing, that's okay. Put it in the chat. Tell us something great, uh, experience you had with a coordinator. Uh, and so my team, please let me know um, who is who is who has hands up and I can call on some folks. Hi, Max. Congratulations to all the winners. First, we have YoCap. Hi, can you guys hear me okay? Okay, great. I always like to um, speak at, at, at events. Um, so what I, what, I, what I noticed about this year, our biggest accomplishment is that our young people, I always tell them that they are the heroes, they are the stars. They have, whenever they are having a bad day or they're feeling like they are not worthy, just remember that they made it through a pandemic. And, um, you know, I just try to always encourage them. I don't know if I would have been able to transition from in-person to virtual, back to in-person and then virtual and then back to in-person again, you know, as well as, you know, worrying about family and friends and everything. And they kept their grades up. They stayed involved in school. A lot of the young people are more extroverted and they had to learn how to 
you know, be a little bit introverted, secluded, and still keep their grades up. So I'm so proud of our young people. And I know that we all and parents had a lot to do with that. So I think that is my takeaway from this year is that our young people are so resilient and I'm so proud of them. Thank you so much. Um, next, we'll have Victoria Trower. Good evening, everyone. Um, I just wanted to first say thank you to Dr. Height and to Jenna Monley, Karen Lynch, and all of the wonderful people at the school district who make my job at the Office of Family and Community Engagement thrilling, exciting, and um, just I'm just so happy every day to come to work and be able to service our communities. But I think the most, um, I think the most that I want to say and, and the shout out that I really want to give the most is to our parents. This year, our parents have gone through the gamut of being teachers at home while caring for parents and family members and spouses who may have been affected by COVID-19. They were affected by COVID-19. I don't know how many parents I had who were sick with COVID, but they never stopped being an amazing parent. And I just want to acknowledge every parent on this call. You guys rock. You are amazing. I don't think we tell you enough how much we appreciate you, but I hope this year you were able to get um, just some sort of understanding of how much this doesn't work without you. So thank you for showing up to the seven o'clock Zoom meetings. Thank you for coming to the nine o'clock meetings in the morning in between teaching your students and calling in from your work and, and just, being a part of this because we know it wasn't easy, but we also know that you are more than capable of being the rock star people that you are. So from my heart to yours, thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless. Thank you so much. Um, so next up, I'll have Antonio. Right. Hey, good evening, everybody, and congratulations to all the people who are truly out of this world. Uh, receiving awards today, but I want to recognize two stars in particular from Kensington Health Sciences Academy. And one of them is Alyssa Coulter, who really came in and saved the day uh, when we needed to provide food and resources to families. Um, and they hooked us up in a big way and will continue to do so. So thank you. And to uh, Giselle Orsini, who I think has achieved more than some people achieve in a lifetime in this last year pandemic, uh, helping to found the student council group, uh, helping to be a founding member of an anti-racism group that actually trained adults how to be anti-racist, you know, serving on uh, the council member Helen Gims uh, council for mental health issues, and the list goes on and on. So I just want to take a special moment to acknowledge you guys for that. Thank you, Antonio. Next, we will have Sarah Smiley, another coordinator. Good evening, everyone. Um, I just want to quickly shout out our two um, partners who are honored tonight, Congresso, so Jason Fakir and Tuesday Chalmers of McPherson Library. So I work at John H. Webster School, and this pandemic has been extremely rough. But every time Webster has called Congresso and McPherson Library, they have answered and they have acted. Jason, not, Jason would go pick up broken Chromebooks, stand in line at the school district, get new ones and take them back to our kids on I don't know how many occasions. In every partner meeting, in nearly every partner meeting that I have, if I ask someone, if I ask someone for something Tuesday, just simply says, I'll do it. You all never stop programming throughout a pandemic in our Iraq and the Kensington community. I'm so honored to work with both of you. You all are honestly my personal heroes. I love you all. And to all the partners who are doing amazing work, thank you so much for your commitment and dedication. As a coordinator, we cannot do this work without your, you all as partners. So thank you all and have a great evening. Thank you, Sarah. And next I'll have Liz from Southwark. Hi everyone, Liz from Southwark here. Um, I can't let this moment go by without giving another special shout out to uh, Miss Nadine Woodbury, our face 
um, family Peter or our step family Peter. I'm sorry, I'm looking at your face right now. Um, you are so special to all of us at Southwark. Um, we could not do so many of the things that we do without you. Um, you are that bright face in the morning. You manage to support our families while also um, supporting our middle school and just doing everything every every day, um, organizing special events. So um, you are just the best and such a bright spot. And Pastor Matt, you and your team, um, words can't describe. Not only did they deliver those food packages, they also opened their space to be an after school tutoring program for youth in the neighborhood. They were a walk up food distribution site through the city. They opened their doors in the past 15 months in unbelievable ways and supported their community um, through it all. So I just one additional shout out to both of you for all the work you've done to support Southwark families this past year. Thank you. Thank you. Next, Caitlin Boyle. Hi everyone, congratulations. Um, and I wanna echo what some of us, uh, some people have said already that we cannot do this work without you all. Um, and I just of course wanna shout out my people from Washington, um, Armstead and Amber. Armstead is brand new to our community. Amber has been around for some years now and she has, um, she has a following at Washington. Students love her, they trust her. She's so consistent. And that really hit me this year because of course this pandemic has been insane and like, there was a moment when I felt like I was all over the place and I think it was in a partner meeting and Amber showed up and she was there first and she had her questions about what she was doing with her program. And it like, it hit me how valuable that consistency is, especially from a person like her, who's such a fixture in our school, who kids know and trust. I think probably most of us know that people that like, one of the things that the kids we serve are missing is consistency they're losing people left and right, whether it's in their school building or at home. And so it just like, I wanted to recognize her. We all wanted to recognize her because it, it really is so um, invaluable. And, and we love her, the kids love her. Don't know what we would do without her at this point. Uh, and then Armstead is, like I said, he's brand new. Armstead came in, hit the ground running. This man like has not stopped working since he started in August. And I mean, like back to back to back state meetings all day. We have 1500 kids at Washington and hundreds at any given time on our ACW who are uh, in danger of being truant, who are truant. Armstead is so relatable. He's so down to earth. The kids, like they, they, like they, he's another one. The kids trust him. Um, he does home visits. He does whatever it takes, whatever it takes. He goes out to their home. He picks up a, a, the phone in a meeting, calls a kid, gets him on the line. Like, it's just, he's, I've really admired the work that he's been able to do and how effective he's been able to be in a virtual world, um, in a pandemic. Um, when he called me at seven o'clock at night <laughs> before an event the next day, worried about like where you're going to get napkins and how, where the people are going to park. And I'm like, this man is cut from the same cloth as I am. And I, and it was so good to like, know that I had somebody like that on my team who just like, he doesn't stop. And, um, I don't, I could go on and on. I will stop, but I am extremely grateful for our people. Um, and again, congratulations to everyone. Thank you, Caitlin. Um, next, Shira Alberts. Hi, everybody. I'm Nurse Shira over at South Philadelphia High School, and I'm with the Health Resource Center from CHOP. And I just wanted to echo what Caitlin was saying about consistency. One of the things that's been so amazing for me being a partner for this amazing community school is seeing the way that being a community school creates roots for the students. Throughout this horrible, terrible, very challenging year, the students knew that they could come on Fridays and there would be a giveaway of items, but there would be an event. There would be somewhere for them to connect, something for them to do. And for students who were so isolated at home, this was a real rooting for them. I remember one day when all of these ninth graders arrived and one of our uh, volunteers that day was a ninth grade English teacher. And they were so excited to meet him, to meet their teacher in person. It was like they were meeting a rock star and he gave them a tour of the school and they had never been in the school. These were ninth graders who had never been in their school and he gave them a tour. 
Um, at one point during the year, a community member donated some cornhole to us. You guys know cornhole, the game where you throw the bean bags around. And students would come and play cornhole and just relax and feel like they could be themselves and talk to us and tell us about their worries and their concerns. And we could um, use that as a, as a place to bounce off and, and connect them to resources. And none of this would have happened without our amazing community school, without our amazing community school coordinator, Janelle Harper, without her amazing Vista, Sam Epstein, without the principal of South Philadelphia High School, Principal Check, without Dr. Bailey, without Jennifer Melendez, without the amazing climate team. Um, this model of community schools is so special and I'm so glad. Um, that we at CHOP uh, and the Health Resource Center can be part of it. Thank you so much. Um, next we'll have Will Reed. Hey everyone, um, just really glad to be a part of this um, ceremony here. Um, and, and again, I just wanted to highlight again our SSAs. Uh, they do a lot of the just thankless work every day they're in the lunchroom with the students um, and doing all kinds of mat uh, matters of work and they were with me at the height of the pandemic in august last august in the searing heat uh giving out uh backpacks uh to students they were there uh giving out turkeys in the cold in november um and um you know they're not officially part of the <laughs> mayor's office they're not getting paid anything extra for this but they just really uh found it in their hearts to help out um you know we didn't have any really parent volunteers this year that usually do uh does some of the work there so i just want to say thank you so much to uh to them and everything that they did to help this help us out and make this possible um and to just help out our families uh, who really needed it this year so thank you so much to the ssas thank you so much to uh to miss maribel and miss norma at centro because they're doing amazing work uh, and have gone above and beyond um to still you know provide some of that homework help and uh help with folks getting on the computers and online which is a huge uh need as well so they've gone above and beyond Thank you for everything that you've done. Uh, I know you don't get to hear that enough, but thank you. And of course, thank you to the wonderful CRAMP staff, uh, Ms. Logan, uh, Mr. Hunt, um, all of the team there uh, who've just shown tremendous leadership and resolve um, this past year, the, one of the most challenging years ever. You guys are still doing it. You're still making it happen. You're amazing. And I just feel really honored to be a part of the CRAMP team. And, and lastly, thank you to the coordinators who put this ceremony together um because this has been really great so great job you guys thank you thanks well great stories we're sharing we're gonna have two more so next up um officer sloan good evening everybody and congratulations to everyone uh i just i don't even know where to start but i'm excited about this uh being on here i'm appreciative for the recognition uh everything we do is done from our hearts i hope but uh I wanted to shout out Sakai because he's such a leader and I wanted him to understand who he is in distant right now. Uh, also to Esther, thank you for putting up with me with my crazy self, wanting everything to be certain ways and right for the boys. Uh, Principal Thomas for allowing me to come into his space and his building to work with his students. Uh, Dr. Height for trusting me. Also my chief, uh, Kevin Bethel, for allowing us to spearhead this lead program and to everybody on here, congratulations. God bless you all. Stay safe. Thank you so much, Officer Sloan. And last but certainly not least, um, Charles Reyes. Good evening, everyone. Um, I just wanted to come on real quick. I just wanted to, first of all, congratulate all the recipients for a job well done. Uh, this work is not easy. And when it falls upon your shoulders, and if you're that individual that loves community, that loves to work with uh, with people and get find resources. Um, it's not an easy task, but it's something that you gain naturally. And just congratulations. Real quick, I just wanted to shout out the two recipients for Dobbins, uh, Sydney Graham. She couldn't be here tonight, but also a community partner that have that, that has grown 
that has grown not just in the community, but as a partner with uh, Dobbins. Um, they're small but mighty. A uh, resurgence church, Pastor, Pastor C.J. Hicks. And a quick story, beginning of the pandemic, you all know um, how everything was. Everything was chaotic. No one knew what was going on. And the first thing I was thinking was really like, people still have to eat. How can we get this food distributed? We need a location, need a location. And I thought of Pastor Hicks. Pastor Hicks was showing up during the Get Fit Saturdays. And I was saying like, who is this guy? Who's this guy? He would just begin to ask questions. And then one day he introduced himself, let me know, you know who he was, the church and the community, so on and so forth. And so just like that, it was just like a line of communication. And I thought of Resurgence Church, minutes from Dobbins. And his exact response was, so you don't have to, you, you don't have to go in? I said, no, people, people still got to eat. He said, well, if you're not going in, we're not going in. And from that point on, from the beginning of the, the pandemic, all the way through, we, Resurgence Church was the location for distribution, for, as you've seen in the comments, for uh, an OST program for our students. This, the list goes on and on. I just want to thank Pastor Hicks, Resurgence Church, for being a great and committed partner. Congratulations to you all. I actually have one other um, community school coordinator. I want to make sure to include Rennie Parker, if you could unmute. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to speak. Um, I just want to say congratulations to all the recipients tonight. Um, I wouldn't feel right without saying anything and giving a special shout out to our, in my opinion, one of the greatest teachers in the city of Philadelphia right now, uh, Mr. Jerry Hudak, who does pretty much everything that you ask him to do. I mean, it, you can ask him to be at a certain time, he's there. You ask him to stay, he's there. You ask him to do anything for our students, he's there. This logo that you see behind me, this is a, a design that was created by our student council in which he spearheaded uh, three years ago from the student council uh, through Samuel Gomper School. So he does everything from our class sponsors to uh, making sure that the kids have uh, their cap and gowns, the speakers are available, the programming, the awards. When I say this teacher does it all, man, he does it all. So I would not feel uh, good without saying and giving a special shout out to, again, one of the greatest teachers in the city of Philadelphia, Mr. Jared Hudak, congratulations. Um, thank you for all that you do for Gompers, um, for making us, in my opinion, the number one middle school in the city. Um, so keep on doing what you're doing, brother. You are blessed and we thank you for all that you do. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. A huge shout out to Esther for facilitating that. Thank you so much for that support. And to all of our recipients, congratulations. Thank you so much. I have to say it again, it takes a village to raise a child. Our village is growing. Our village is filled with time, talent, treasures, and it's all because of the hard work and dedication to the relationships and fostering these relationships. So thank you all so much to all our recipients. A huge shout out to the community school coordinators, Again, I've heard it said several times, we're establishing roots. These roots are through champions for kids and you are leading that work. And thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Um, we are now going to be able to establish stability for so many more kids because of these relationships that you have established in your school community. So I know our, we're, we're, our time is up. Um, and the party is just ending here, but I hope that it continues. And I hope that these relationships foster within more and more. Next year, we hope to have a lot more people to celebrate with, to celebrate um, the great work that we're doing. Again, thank you all for lending us your ear, your time. Um, and yes, our village is growing. So again, go for it. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, and thank you, thank you. Congratulations again to all of our recipients. And let's keep this energy uh, as we continue to burn this fire for our, our community. Thank you all so much for being with us tonight.